Welcome back friends, we are talking about different antigen antibody interactions and this video will be talking about a very very interesting uh, type of technique to, to find out uh, the antigen antibody complex that are present in our sample. So here it is, it is called complement fixation. Now what is complement? We all know if you have the basic understanding of immunology, I, I think so. If you don't know what is complement, you can watch the videos on complement. Uh, you can find plenty of videos in my YouTube channel. Now, complements are co chemical components, are protein components that are present in our blood, Spe uh, especially that are present in our uh, actually. This is, this is a part of our humoral immunity. So they are fighting against the infection in a different ways. They help us to establish uh, the antigen antibody complex and engulf those complex, degrade those complex, and bust those complexes, right? Now in this case, this complement fixation assay is the most important assay and the only best assay to detect the antigen antibody complex that are present in a sample. We have talked about before the how can we uh, get to know that there is any antigen antibody complex is present or not. We can look for it using other small assays but this is the best assay for understanding or identifying antigen antibody complexes in your sample. Now let's uh, assume that here it is our, uh, is our vial and in, inside it we are having our sample. Now in this vial what we are having, so let me draw it broader, yes this is the vial. Now in this vial what we are having, we are having for example, this is uh, we are having blood or serum, simply we are having the sample, right. So sample is a serum sample, so we add serum here. So the sample inside the serum what we are having complements are present. So there are complements. So let me write complements as this. So here it is. This is our complement. Okay. Now this is the complements like a triangle home. <laughs> okay. So this is the complement. And in this complement uh, we can have in this serum antigen. We cannot have antigen. We can have antigen antibody. We cannot have antigen antibody. We, we, we varying in these cases. So suppose this is the antigen. This is also the antigen. And we are having also antibodies. For example, say this is the antibody. Now remember, I have told you that uh, this antigen antibody co uh, complex never happens like this. I just make this to represent this antigen antibody complex in like that. But actually, uh, they interact via this kind of linkages. Okay, not that one. Okay. So here it is. Uh, so antigen and antibody are also present. Now antigens, which are uh, indication of diseases and also antibodies are generated by its own cell. So we are having antigen antibody all these things present there. Now if there is antigen antibody present inside this complex and it is also having this uh, complement then what we, it will do it will antigen antibody is having the ability to fix the complement. Now why what we mean by this fixation of complement. Now, as we know that complements are some uh, some factors, some protein factors. So here it is the antigen, and here we go the antibody. So say this is the antibody bound with the antigen, it will sit onto this complement. So here it is the complement, for example, and it will convert this complement into something like that. Okay, and here it is. It just comes out like that. Okay. And okay. Now normally inside uh, this, inside our system, inside the immune system, what happens when there is antigen antibody complex formation? Complement comes in, and they will sit onto that, and complement will be degraded. Now, as this complement are degraded in these cases, so what will happen? They lead to the cleave or or uh, cleavage between these complement proteins because complement proteins are proteins that can be degraded. For example, if we uh, consider there are many complement proteins like C2, C3, C1 and all these things. And if we consider C2, it is having two different. So if we degrade this or fix this complement, it can generate C2A and C2B, two different units, C2A and C2B. Similarly, C3 can be also divided into C3A and C3B and so on. So we are having various complements like that. We, we Most of the time when you degrade them, it, they will give us two different fragments. One is smaller fragments, another one is the large fragment. Now the large fragment is attached, uh, keep on attached with this antigen portion, but this uh, small fragment, uh, the small fragment which is generated, act as a signaling molecule. Now this small fragment act as a signaling molecule. And this signaling molecule will go and provide the signal to cells like macrophages. 
which are the killer cell, engulfment cell. So they will come and engulf this whole complexes and destroy the antigen because this is our actual goal to destroy and get rid of the antigen, right? So this is the process of complement normally inside our body. But in this case, so but so in this uh, assay, we are actually utilizing that concept that this antigen and antibody can only fix the complex of antigen antibody can only fix complement. So if we provide the complement here, so say this is the complement. If we provide only antigen, it won't fix the complement. If we provide only antibody, it is unable to fix the complement. But only if we provide antigen antibody as a complex, only in those cases it can fix the complement. So this is the concept. Only antigen antibody complex can fix the complement. So if we allow this serum, and uh, which is having complements and antigen antibody everything, if it is having both antigen antibody and it is forming the antigen antibody complex, then it can uh, fix this complement. And as a result of fixing the complement, the complement is getting dissociated like that. Small part is released, but here is no macrophage and other cells are not there because we are taking only serum. So rest of the process won't work, but complement will be fixed okay now here what we do in case of this complement fixation assay to visualize the effect is simply we took two different examples for example okay now in first case we are having antigen antibody complex present in the second case we don't have any antigen antibody complex suppose we are having antibodies we are having lot of antibodies we but we are won't have any antigen there many antibodies are there but no antigen is present so there is no antigen antibody complex it is also having the complement. So having look at C, this is the complement. Okay, so no antigen. So this is the scenario. In first case, both the case, suppose here also, we are having antigen antibody. So let me write it here. In this case, we are having antigen antibody complex plus complement. In this case, we are having only antibody plus complement. Okay. So we take the blood from the serum, uh, two different patients. Now what we do, after having all these things in our vial, then we add, so we take these things from directly from our patient. So we won't, we haven't add anything yet. But now we'll add what is called blood RBC coated with antigen. So we'll be adding RBC coated with antigen. Remember. We have uh, done this structure several times. Here is the RBC and antigens are attached in different regions of this RBC. So we'll be providing this RBC along with this antigen, both this case. So we'll be providing both these cases. So let me draw this. So here it is. Okay. So here it is the RBC along with the antigens. We we'll add this. After adding this, what will it do? Now in this first scenario, so let me write it. This is the first scenario where we are having antigen antibody complex. Now as there is antigen antibody complex, they are having the ability to fix this complement system. So they will fix this complement. So as they fix the complement, complement is already divided into large and small fragments. So complements, all the complements that are present in this vial are fixed. So there is nothing left to be fixed. So this red blood, when we add this red blood cell along with this antigen, they will lead to no effect. So we, we haven't seen any kind of changes there actually. Okay. Now in second case, in previous case there is no antigen. Remember, as a result of no antigen, there is no antigen antibody complex. As there is no antigen antibody complex, the complement is not fixed. Complement is as it is. Now when we add this uh, antigen coated RBC there. Now this antigen coated RBC as they are having antigens, now these antibodies will start binding. Now what we get here sooner, we get antigen antibody complex. Right? Previously there was no antigen, so no antibody antigen complex. But now after adding this RBC, we are having antigen antibody complex. Now as we are having antigen antibody complex, they can fix the complement. So as they will fix the complement, they will be this 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 whole system, this whole so the complement uh, so this section will be released. So this whole red blood cell will be ruptured. So here it is, the whole red blood cell will be ruptured as a result of this fixation, and 
complement is fixed here the complement is fixed even before the addition of this uh, antigen coated rbc but here the complement is fixed after the addition of antigen coated rbc and as there is a part of the antigen it is it is carrying the antigen they will fix the complement as a result of that this rbc is getting ruptured and as a result of this rbc rupturation we get what we can see we can see by looking at this vial we can see that yes rbc rbcs are getting ruptured and the color is changing right but in this case we simply look at the rbc are getting just they will be just aggregated at this bottom but there is no rupturation but here in this case what we will be finding we will be finding this the whole mixture is turning red so by looking at it we can tell yes in this case previously there was no antigen present so no antigen antibody complex was present but in those cases where we haven't any kind of rupturation we can tell yes from the beginning there is antigen antibody complex present in this sample of the patient okay so if so this is the take home message if after adding those antigen coated rbc there is rupturation then you can tell yes there is no antigen present but if there is no rupturation there was antigen antibody complexes so antigen was present so by looking at this we can tell the process so it's a very very simple overview but very very clever process to get right so if you look at it by by just simply looking at it we can tell what is going on okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you